Hello everybody, it is Brooke with The Junk Parlor and it is time for another thrift haul. This is an accumulation of probably a couple of weeks, but since I shared the Christmas home tours, I didn't do a thrift haul with you. So if you didn't watch those Christmas home tours, I know Christmas is over, but you have mine, which I called the Simple Christmas Tour. You have Hillary's, which everybody seemed to love, the Vintage Christmas Tour, and our guest Rebecca with her custom Christmas tour. So definitely go watch all of those Christmas tours. It's fun to get inspiration. I have ideas on what I want to do next year or be looking for on the hunt for next year since this was the first time I really decorated for Christmas in this house. So I'm excited to show you what I have picked up. I also want to give you a heads up that I will be having a sale on Sunday, January 7th at 7 p.m. Central Time. You can shop from Facebook. I will also the Saturday before, which would be January 6th at 9 a.m., be putting some new items on my website at thejunkparlor.com. So don't forget to check that out. Now, anything that I share today, you can purchase. Just comment below or you can message me over on Facebook or Instagram, shoot me an email, whatever your preferred method might be. So first up, we are going to share these Imperial um, key bib overalls. They are super cute. Now I have $45 on them. I did find a size. They are a 42 waist and a 29 length. So I think if I have the straps really long, I could wear them. Um, they're definitely going to be loose, but they have a great faded color look. I'll try and hold up the leg so you can see they're definitely worn. There is a little hole somewhere, but like the perfect amount of wear and tear. The backside looks good. Also up here at the straps, there's a little bit of fading and discoloration, a little bit of change in the seat, but these are authentic, vintage, awesome, wonderfulness. This is some kind of charcoal sketch. So I liked the look of the sketch, it almost looks unfinished, but it is signed. It's just the look the person was going for. And it is in a nice brass metal frame. I do think something is missing right here. Something has popped off over the years. It does have a chain for hanging. It has a metal back and I have $75 on this one. So you can see it's about as long as my torso. These wooden items, um, I think they're just wall mount pieces. They have kind of a base right here. So it's almost like you could stand them up, um, but I don't really know how they would balance. So anyway, you can do whatever you want with them. This cow is awesome for $45. There is some green paint splatter on it. Not really sure why. You could probably hit it with a sander and get that off if you don't like it. And then there is a little bit of damage here on the ear but I still like it. It is a nice big wood cutout. And along with the cow, I got a pig. Now there must have been some kind of tag or something there that someone sanded, sanded off, I guess. Must have been pretty stuck. And then I don't know, especially on the camera, it probably is more on the camera than it is on pers in person but this looks like maybe it was bleached out, like everything but this was covered up and this bleached out for some reason, I'm not sure. This one also looks like it was attached. And I would say that this one, the base of this at least, is a little bit thicker wood than the other one. Now, the pig also has a nail hole here, probably how somebody else had hung it up. If you don't like this, you could just hit it with the sander or you could hit it um, with some stain to change that up um, so that it was a little more uniform in color, if that's what you like. But the pig is 45 as well. Now, I didn't know what these were, but I liked them. 
and I actually had a lady approach me and say, what is it? And I'm like, I don't even know, but it is just all um, coiled here. You can see that pretty easily in this angle of it. It's red paper. Somebody's painted the tip silver, and then somebody made their own little hanger out of these wire hangers. Then I was checking out and the lady was like, oh, do you know what they are? And I said, no. And she said, oh, they're garland. So when I looked them up, they're Scandinavian garland, I guess. And these guys are $20 each. Now it does look, well, they're about the same. I'm not sure which one is more compacted. I was gonna say maybe one is longer than the other. I got this uh, tree arbor. Um, the lid is just taped here onto the back, but I loved the tree. It's flocked. It's not a bottle brush tree, but it still kind of has that same vibe. And um, this is a Lemax brand, but $20 on our tree. These would still look good for the winter time. This serving set, probably stainless steel, but look at the handles with the Christmas tree and the ribbon. So the fork and the spoon have that on both sides. The uh, pie server only has it on the one, and then you can see it's flat here on the back. I did not see a maker's mark on any of the pieces, but can you see that says Seasons Greetings? And it's etched. But I think having some red ribbon on these and even just hanging them up, um, you know, like at the end of your island on a, a bar or on some peg rack or hooks, I just think it would be beautiful. They're also totally usable. These things are probably about 12 inches long. They're huge. And the set of three is $100. Then we have some super unique skates. So I got them immediately because of this ankle brace piece and it does slide up and down and it folds, but I've never had a, a skate, um, you know, that clips onto your shoes have this ankle support. Now the bummer thing is the leather is very worn and it has broke so you couldn't actually strap it around your ankle. And these are marked 10 and a half, I think, 10 and a half and B and B. And this is, I should have written it down because now I'm going to forget Bernie and Bernie and Barry, I think was the company. And the other side is the same where the leather strap is ripped off over the years. But these are so, so, so unique and special and they are $60. I also picked up thrifting this craft paper, postal wrapping paper for 99 cents. And then it was in the Christmas section that was 50, well, 50% 50 off or 75% off. So I basically got this for 50 cents. Awesome, because I love to wrap presents in, in these. Um, I do have a blog post showing you some ideas on how to wrap presents with craft paper, construction paper. So I will put that down in the description for you, but if nothing else, I can use it to pack. I grabbed these little celebration candles. It's a six inch tapers and it says 12 candles. Now, it, there were not 12 candles in it when I got it. Well, I didn't count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. They're the ones that are hooked together. But the reason I got the candles, because earlier that day I had gotten this wooden, what I thought was a candle holder, and it's so thin, I thought, oh, this will fit perfect. But guess what? This isn't a candle holder. <laughs> this is a bud vase. So I'll just have these candles to throw in something or on something or if I find something that needs a little candles, I'll just put it in my stash. But this little wood bud vase is 15. I just love it. Glad I had the candle because otherwise I would have thought it was a candle holder because when I picked it up, I picked it up with this, which is a candlestick holder. It is also 15. I love the shape. I love the color. 
Another wood piece I think I got at the same time was this wood carved candle. Can you see that? It is carved to look like a flame. I love it. I think this is walnut. I'm not 100% sure. It's got a nice thick base, but I thought this would be great for Christmas. This You could put it inside a wreath. Um, this would be great for winter, really for any time. So take a wreath and then set it here in the middle. I just think that that would be a pretty table centerpiece. And this wooden candle is $45. And then we have this vintage wreath for 25. It is missing one of the red apples, I guess you would call it. And some of the bulbs um, are a little fraying. I think there's one smashed here somewhere. I did look in my stash, like I randomly keep things. Look at that, apples. It does have popcorn on it. I do have this um, available for $5, but the apples are not quite the same color of red, or I would have just popped them off and onto the wreath. So it's great as is, you could add something else to it, wrap a ribbon right here, like, and hang the wreath that way. Does that make sense, hopefully? So it's a nice, thick, metal, heavy duty, vintage, Kind of like a bottle brush tree i don't know what you call it when it's when it's a wreath but 25 dollars on our vintage wreath another awesome wood piece i got i have 35 dollars on this masher have you ever seen a cone masher with such a beautiful handle never seen one this shape before and i am out and about a lot so either i have just missed it or this is not that common, but I love the shape. This is great for, and a great addition for somebody who collects mashers. So 35 on the cone masher. I did pick up another turtle shell. This one looks like it has been sealed with something. And these look great hanging on the wall. We have $15 on our egg dipper. So you can dip this down and then let it drain here and just stand. You could also just use this for anything. Set it by the sink with a bar of soap, put your rings in it when you're washing dishes. You can even hang these on the wall, put a little candle in there. I love them. $20 on this J and G Meekin. Hanley, England. It is marked little butter pat. And the butter pat does have a little chip that you can't see on the front. And it looks like you can hardly see on the back. There where my finger is, but you cannot see it on the front. I thought there was another one. There maybe is a little chip right here. So there are a couple little chips on it but it is marked, it's all white. It is not a thick, chunky one. It's a thin, dainty one for 20. To add to my ribbon collection, since it hasn't been, it hasn't sold, and I just love the graphics on here, and this is a yellow velvet, gorgeous color. So $15 on our little roll of ribbon. I found so much Christmas stuff, even though I'm not really a vintage Christmas person. Like, I know it sells well. Now I've got a hair in my face. I know it sells well, but I just, I don't know. It's not something that I actively look for. And by the, you know, two weeks before Christmas, a week before Christmas, you figure most Christmas stuff has been donated and put out on the table and picked through but I have found all of this just in the last couple of weeks, which I think is great. So Christmas Stories Around the World. I love this book because of the spine. This would be a good um, thing to try and stack for your coffee table books. And it is $15. I think this was a 1970 copyright date. I can't even remember what the pictures were. Oh. I do have a good customer, Candace. I don't know if you're any relation to Dawn, um, but it does have some good graphics in it. So you could always use a little book stand and 
open, um, you know, a page to a picture that you like. Thinking about Valentine's Day, I love this like bottle. It's a big one pint one for $20. So good for bottle collectors. And then I think it'd be a good display for Valentine's. I just couldn't pass this little folk art piece up. It is a collie dog with two puppies. I would say it goes in uh, the yard. It's a thin piece of plywood that somebody has painted on and they even did the back side of the collie. I mean, how cute is that? I do think there is just a little bit of damage here. I don't know if you can see, there's kind of like a red, white, and blue duct tape maybe. And I think they did that because there must be a little cut there or it looked like it was starting to fall apart. So they just went ahead and taped it. I don't even know but I do have $60 on our Kali cutout and it is pretty large, but it's super lightweight. Now we're in another little section. This little coffee mug is not that old or anything, but super cute with Santa, It'd look good with a bottle brush tree in it or actually use it. There is a little uh, nick right here, that dark little section I think is a nick. It does have a made in Japan sticker still on it and it is $15. You could even put a plant in it. This little light up Santa little waving guy is $60. I could not find a maker's mark on it. I want to say it was like 12 inches tall. It gets hung on the wall. There is a light in it. That thing little slide so you can change out the bulb. Plug it in, $60. $15 on our Cascade Tree Veil. So a pretty vintage box that hasn't been opened. And then what happens is that tinsel turns into a Christmas tree, which I've never actually seen one of these used before. But the picture tells you all about it. So $15 on our Tree Veil. Then we have a Nesting Santa. I didn't even have them on there, right? So there's what Santa actually looks like. And this is $35, it is missing one. So I think there's supposed to be one between this, these two, this one, and then a little baby one. But these would look cute sitting out unnested to me, um, just like on, like on my built-ins, on some open shelving. And so you can kind of see, let me get the other one put together, put together ish. I don't think I have them lined up perfectly, but you can kind of see the staircase. So I'm guessing it's missing one. This is amazing. Such good graphics, a green background. So unique. It's $65. It's a design copyright by Stylecraft of Baltimore. So unique, so usable, such a good find. I think it's a cat. I saw a mouse online, but I'm pretty sure this is a cat just because of the tiger stripes. It doesn't have Japan stickers still on it, but I'm gonna say it is a Japan one. Little fuzzy hat and this little guy is $30. Picked up another Bible. I need another Bible, like I need a hole in the head. But I think what I'm gonna do is just bundle maybe some groupings of three and have those in my Facebook sale. This silver trivet has some red and green paint on it. It is distressed. I love the look. So you could use it as a trivet. Still has all of its little rubber pads. It also has a little metal hanger right here. I don't know if somebody added that or if that's just how it was. It says tarnish resistant, clean with soft damp cloth, I think, and it is $20. So you could use it as a trivet or you could just hang it on the wall. Now this I got at the thrift store and there's somebody playing some games, but it is already made. It is on some really heavy barn wood 
and it just looks really good. You could put this out on your porch. I don't think it would blow over. There's not a hanger already on it, um, but I just really liked this rake turned Christmas tree. And then I also picked up this um, twig tree. It has a nice little stand made and then all of these ornaments. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the ornaments off because they're not really my style and then just sell the tree itself. But this had a tag on it from Von Mar for like $110. It was something stupid. So I will not be selling it for that much, but I have not priced it. And then I will sell the little ornaments by themselves. I think they would look better on a green tree, but that's just me personally. Or you could make like a garland out of them. I picked up this little ironstone pitcher and I love it. And then you have somebody who's painted it. It is signed W. Ames. And I got it because honestly, unless someone tries to snatch it really quickly, I am going to strip this off so that it is just a plain ironstone pitcher. But this is marked $30 as is. You know my love for green and I love crazing and discoloration. The lid on this is very discolored and crazed, but the base is not so much. So it was taped together. I didn't even realize there was a pattern here on the inside. I'm gonna say it's probably a butter dish. There is a chip on it right here. I have $35 on it, and it is Adam Antiques by Steubenville, I think is how you pronounce it but I just loved the way it looked. It kind of goes with the things that I have in my kitchen already, but it is for sale for 35. This little copper colander I thought was so cute with these brass feet and handles. You could put this on your counter and put some produce in it. it does have like a million old sticker spots on it and it is $25, $25 for our little colander. This cigar box, I love the look of it, but a bonus is it says Waverly, and there's Waverly, Iowa, maybe a couple hours away. So a nice cigar box, has Waverly, has Waverly actually on two sides. If you don't like that, you could always turn it around and use it as a riser, but I just liked the look and love, love it extra because it has Waverly. So it says smoke Waverly cigars there. This is $30. I made one of these when I was a freshman in college because I was originally going into graphic design before I switched and went into education. And these we made, um, I think in high school too, actually. These look like irises or maybe tiger lilies but this is a big print block essentially that someone has grooved. You do this tool and you, you, you take things away. You can tell I can remember a lot of the terminology, LOL. But I think it'd make just a great art piece. You could put it on a shelf and then put something in front of it. You could hang it with a command strip and it is $30 and it is pretty darn big. This wood shelf is $75 and this you could set all kinds of little tchotchkes on it. It's got some good detailing on it and just a useful piece for $75. This little wreath does have a lot of beads on it. It's just a newer, probably plastic, oh, has a plastic ring, could go around a candle. I kind of got it more for myself, but I would um, sell it for 20. Has a little bling to it. These, I had just seen somebody share these in their house and they actually used hung up two of them and then they would switch them out seasonally they had um different hangers kind of like used them like sconces 
And so we have these and they are $35 each. I am selling them separately, but they do match. So you could, you know, buy both and, and use them both. I did get some good books. Now I got this one because it says bathroom. So this would be fun to set with some other bathroom books. It is $10 and it's just plain gray. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't even look, look at the inside because I just bought it for the spine. So it has a bunch of bathroom designs. Looks like some remodels and just some ideas and inspiration for your bathrooms. I got Where Did the Baby Go? This little golden book. It was originally 59 cents and a 1977 copyright. Um, in good condition for $8. And then we have a stack of four books for $40. I don't necessarily like the coloring of this one with the stack, but they're all the same theme, grass and the yard. So we've got the perennial garden, garden, flowering trees, the pond, and gardening of the year. So another nice coffee table stack. The perennial, you saw the top of that. This um, flowering trees and shrubs is just green. The pond is just green. So those two go together really nicely. And then gardening through the year has uh, gardening stuff on the cover. For $3.99, I got these three bottle brush trees just for myself. I love this one or the two that have kind of like the spiral cut. I don't know what that technically is called. And then I got a deck of old maid cards and these guys are $50. They have the good, they're pears. They have the good characters. You can stick these in flower frogs. You can use them as gift tags for presents. You can hang them up like a garland or like on a clothesline that you make. But there are two of each, plus you have your old maid. And I do have another set, similar but with different characters, over on my website at thejunkparlor.com. So it's always just fun to see what the different decks have for their characters. Got a few more I'll share. Love that one. My dad was a dairy farmer. And your directions and your old maid. So $50 on our old maid deck. I've decided that this was a set, even though I did not realize it when I was thrifting. So you have a set of four mugs and the platter. They appear to me to be like a ceramics class um, made. They're not signed. But you can see where they've been sitting in the, in the kiln. So they are $25 a mug. Here's what Santa looks like. I love the shape of the handle. I love that they're on a pedestal. Totally usable. I mean, they all look the same. They're all kind of, um, like this one might actually have a chip, but they're all just kind of homemade. They're rough. And then here's the platter. Cause see, that's the same Santa. And then you've got your green edge. I do think I found a little nick somewhere, Some, a rough spot. Now I'm not even gonna be able to feel it. But I think, oh, it's right there. There's a little rough spot right there where one edge is a little bit softer. So the platter I did price separately at 20. Then we have this Christmas tablecloth and it is $20. It is a true flex. Now I was slightly confused because someone crossed off the dimensions and rewrote it. But I think the reason is, is because they used it and cut it probably to fit their own table, but it looks to be in great condition. I did not take it out of the bag. So $20 on that tablecloth. 
And then we have this cute old basket for 30. This would be great for rolls of towels, some extra shampoo and conditioner, toothpaste to put in your guest bathroom. And I also think it would be a good, just like gift basket. So you could put, you know, popcorn and candy and drinks in here and gift it to someone. This little mercury glass ornament I got for a dollar. Um, it's newer, but I thought it would go well with some others that I have. I also got this tree for myself. It's like an aged silver color. And this I picked up for $4.99. And actually that dollar ornament was 50% off. So I got it for 50 cents. This was a $5 tree that I got for 50% off. So it was $2.50. Might have even been less than that. Pretty much the couple weeks before Christmas, everywhere I went was having 50 to 75% off of all their Christmas stuff. I love a good Lazy Susan. This one has the design on it. So you could put this with food, you could put it in the bathroom and do jewelry or little, you know, eyeshadows and chapsticks and stuff. It does have a solid American walnut sticker on the bottom. And this big one is $40. I did pick up a couple faux candles. Good for you if you wanna buy them, good for me. The pair is $15 and they do light. I got an ironstone platter for 20. This is 1980, I think is what it says. D.E. McNichol, Vertified Verti China. You know, I'm always trying to make uh, platter stacks. And check out this. This was at the thrift store over mixed in with all of the frames. So they have like bunches of like big boxes, essentially wood boxes that they put all the pictures in. So you can just flip through and see the art. And this was in that. So $60 on our brass parakeets. They do hang on the wall. I kind of put the price tag over that. And there is a made in India sticker on it but the little lovebirds brass parakeets such a great find at the thrift store for 60. i did grab a couple things for my girlfriend we have this better homes and garden new garden book and i got this for her because she's always looking for books she always finds the better home and gardens cookbooks and kind of makes a joke about it and she's very into gardening I just think that would fit her style. That's Hillary that had the vintage Christmas tour. And then she's definitely into disco balls. So I picked up this pink disco ball. I think this one's technically an ornament to add to her, her collection. So I got this black suitcase. It definitely smells. I have $45 on it, but I thought it would look good with a stack of um, suitcases that I have because the other ones I have have been selling and then it does have a label in here it says uh, crescent medium weight on the suitcase and I just it's a name tag actually and I just pinned it to the little straps along with the keys and then I've just left it open here so that it can air out a little bit well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I picked up this week. I hope you can join me on Sunday, January 7th at 7 p.m. on Facebook at The Junk Parlor and find some goodies that you want to have in your own home. If you are not already following me, please click that subscribe button, like the video, and tell me below what your favorite find from this week was.